In Japan, one of the country's most controversial public figures has found a new way to stir things up. Tokyo's Mayor Shintaro Ishihara has denounced immigrants, praised the superiority of Japanese to other people, and called for Japan to acquire nuclear weapons. He's also partly responsible for stirring up tensions between Japan and China over the Senkaku Islands, which is known in China as the Diaoyu. Now he started his own political party. From Tokyo, Nicholas Ito reports. Before becoming the governor of Tokyo, Ishihara had been a member of parliament for 25 years and held two cabinet positions. Ishihara intends to run for office in the next elections. He has also expressed possibilities of joining forces with the populist Osaka mayor Toru Hashimoto, who also launched his own political party earlier this year. In a country where most people keep their real thoughts to themselves, Ishihara's explicit comments and his latest stunts are a breath of fresh air to some who see him as an answer to years of disappointing leaders. This tweet on a pro Ishihara Twitter feed says, I feel like a big stone has been cast into the stagnant world of politics. This blogger compares Ishihara to Moses and praises his decision. I fully support the return of this politician who has long been watched closely from a hegemonic China. Not surprisingly, Ishihara's age has become an issue. This tweet reads, Mr. Shintaro Ishihara, returning to politics at your age, are you immortal? While another says, we are in a situation where we need to put our hopes in a third party. The return of Shintaro Ishihara to national politics is very welcome, even though his 80 years of age does raise some questions. However, Ishihara may still have a long way to go towards convincing his critics. Relations between China and Japan have reached an all-time low ever since he expressed interest in purchasing islands claimed by both countries. This blogger who compares Ishihara to a soldier from Imperial Japan says, if this kind of person rises in the ranks, it will terminate Sino-Japanese relations and we will tilt towards war. The post goes on. The destruction and devastation will be unimaginable. Ishihara is also a magnet for criticism for his sexist and homophobic past statements, not to mention comments which suggest a disregard for people in need or with disabilities. In 2001, Ishihara agreed with a statement which said, old women who live after they have lost their reproductive function are useless and committing a sin. Also, just after the tsunami disaster in March 2011, Ishihara was criticized for calling it a divine punishment. This tweet reads, Shintaro Ishihara is a hopeless guy. He hasn't got a piece of delicacy in him. Everybody please understand the real nature of this man. And goes on to say, if a person like this becomes involved in politics, I'm afraid he will completely destroy Japan. However, the truth is that many Japanese people are hoping for a drastic change in Japanese politics. While almost 60% do not support the current government, 40% do not support any political party at all, underscoring their desperation. Given this situation, the recent rise of right-leaning politicians such as Ishihara and Osaka's Hashimoto to the national scene may have a significant effect on the next elections, which could come as early as in December. For Link Asia, I'm Nikola Ito in Tokyo. In 1989, Ishihara irritated the U.S. by saying Japan should stand up to Washington on everything from trade to culture to foreign policy. Airwaves, a global channel of uncompromising stories. World news, documentaries, entertainment, and culture. Link TV, connecting you to the world. For more information, visit linktv.org.